Hi, this is Wade Harvey at IdealProgrammer.com. Uh, here you'll find over 300 hours of free .NET video tutorials. I'd like to start out uh, by saying, talking about why I named the uh, blog IdealProgrammer.com. I have a background in philosophy, and in philosophy what you run into are, is the concept of ideals. For every actual object in the world, there's a, an ideal of what that object should be. And that's just a mental picture in our brains. And we compare that uh, mental picture of the ideal to the actual object. And the extent that the actual object falls short of that ideal, that mental picture, we feel a tension within us. And this tension can be likened to the uh, magnetic force between the north and south poles of a magnet. And to reduce that tension, we take a massive action to transform the actual object into the ideal. This uh, same concept applies to ourself. Uh, if we fall short of our, our ideal of ourself, we, we feel a tension within us, and we need to take a massive action to transform ourselves to be more like the ideal that we want to be. On the website, you'll find uh, uh, that uh, it helps to surround ourselves with uh, ideal models of uh, what we're trying to become. And there's many uh, of those with the Microsoft uh, experts that are, are presenting the videos here. And finally, uh, the website just gives you a, a a high-level overview of all the various topics that you will uh, that are involved in not .NET programming. This will allow you to become familiar with the uh, players in the game, and then as you become more familiar, then you can drill down in to each of the players to learn more about their personalities and so forth. So when you come to the home page, uh, you'll first thing you'll hit is a table of all the video series. Today we're interested in JavaScript uh, and uh, DOM document object model. Before we go there, I want to uh, uh, click on this link. Uh, it's called uh, Syllabus Spreadsheet. And this allows us to echo the videos that we watched. What this is, is just my Google Docs. Uh, and you can uh, export uh, my Google Docs into your Excel or, or your Google Docs to help you keep track of the videos you've watched. The first page of the uh, spreadsheet gives a high level uh, of all the video series. And the first part is uh, the basic uh, video series, uh, Streamland Syllabus somebody were trying to get the basics. The topic that we're interested in today is uh, JavaScript and DOM. There's five hours of that. Uh, let's go over the headings. Uh, here you have the description of the video series, the hours available of video, and the hours that you've watched. That's where you would type in what you've watched, hours rewatched. DVDs burn. I like to burn DVDs uh, because it allows me to decouple myself from the computer and watch the videos on a portable DVD player or the TV in my house. Okay, now uh, we see that this uh, series that we're interested in is number 18, JavaScript DOM. And uh, so you go down to the bottom of the spreadsheet and use these the arrow buttons to scroll over to. 18 JavaScript and DOM. And on that uh, page, when you click on that link, you'll be given the details of the individual videos that you can watch. And uh, it'll give you the name of the video and then the number of uh, video minutes, and then you would just type in the uh, minutes that you watched and whether you rewatched it or burned a DVD. So, that's uh, all that's involved in tracking what you've watched. Let's return now to the home page and drill down into the uh, video series itself to see the videos that are available. 
So I'm clicking on the JavaScript and DOM link. And this just gives you uh, uh, the video that you can watch. Thank you very much. Uh, come to idealprogram.com to view these videos for free. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.